Hello. For today's project, we're going to need a piece of paper, hopefully uh, a thicker paper than just, um, you know, printer paper. So uh, sketchbook paper is nice. That's what this is. It's a little heavier, um, but you need that. You'll need a brush. You'll need watercolors of some kind. I have these two palettes because I like to jump between them. That mean that doesn't mean that you have that much to choose from, but watercolors are very important to this project. A container of water. Paper towel or rag. I like to use rags because I keep reusing them. Um, and you probably want to have a pair of scissors around. Maybe safety scissors. These are sharp. And this is the most important, this is the key to making our art today. This is a roll of painter's tape and it comes in blue and it comes in green. Um, it's a wonderful thing to have in your art, artistic or um, creative toolbox. Um, and the good thing about this tape is that when you put it down, it goes where you want it. It, it, um, it's, can even be kind of flexible a little bit. But the most important thing about it is when you remove it, it doesn't tear your paper. So if you have like masking tape, which comes in that kind of um, off-white, um, almost a yellowish color, that is used often for the same purpose of masking off, like if you're gonna paint a room or something. But the problem with that masking tape is it doesn't like to let go of the paper. It stays. Now, the worst of all would be scotch tape. So you don't want any of those tapes that won't come off because then you cannot finish this project. So we'll get started. I'm going to do my initial and my initial is E for Emily. So I'm gonna get started. Now I have a torn edge here because um, I the last time I used it, I just tore it off. So it's okay, I'm just gonna put this I might make my E a little smaller than I have been. And I'm gonna tear this. But now I'm going to take and make it a little bit straighter now. And, oh, that's kind of, it's not very straight. Let's try that again. There. Okay, I'm gonna lay this down because then I can put the straight there and make it straighter. And I'm going to cut this edge. I have to get these little pieces off. This is kind of the part that's that's annoying because this tape is gonna stick to your scissors a little bit. It's not bad though, remember, it's, it's not super sticky tape. Okay, so I've got the first part of my E. I didn't draw this. So if you have a nice square letter, you can do this just as easily. Now, if you have a, a not square letter, say your name is Olivia or something, and you start with an O, um, you may make your O more uh, rectangular, or you may um, be able to trim, you know, corners, um, or you may decide to to do, um, you can do a shape. Oh, I'm talking about Olivia, so I'm doing an O. I'm still working on an E. I'm okay, everything's fine. <laughs> okay. So here's my E. Now I kind of find that this is just kind of wimpy. So I'm gonna do what I just did, but I wanna make it a little bit um, thicker on here. Just a little wider. Now you can get, you can get painter's tape at um, Walmart or at Target or at, um, uh, Lowe's, you know, home stores, home and hardware stores, and um, just about anywhere. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm getting off a little bit here. Looks like I should move that whole thing up a little bit. But I'm, I'm good with that because I have this piece here I'm going to add. This one's a little off, but I'm not all about perfection. I am definitely more about, and I'm going to leave that. I kind of like that. See, there's a little wing out, a little wing out there. That is not what I'm about on this project, is being perfect is not the problem. We just want to enjoy the creativity. So that's what we're doing. 
You got a little bit out there too. And now I could always take a little, um, you know, take the time, pull it up, trim it down, but um, let's have some fun. Now, uh, I'm going to also use this tape right now. Where did I put my end? Zip, zip, zip. Look at that. <laughs> I lost it. Okay. So I kind of want to follow, even though I'm a little crooked on my E, I'm going to go ahead and make some stripes on my paper. Now, it may be confusing, but what's showing of white is what will get the color when we paint, okay? And when we do other things with it. So I'm making these stripes, but the stripes are actually not, you know, they're just this skinny white line here. I'm gonna do one more. This one got an extra. There. I suppose I could do that over here. I'll give it an extra. There we go. Okay, so I have my E and I have stripes. So what I wanna do first is I can pick like a color that I wanna do with um, with my, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit so you can kind of see when I'm working in the paints too. Let's see if I can get that, there we go. Um, I'm going to make the stripes all one color just to keep that part easy. And I'm using this palette. I have these beautiful colors in this palette but um, this one, for some reason, just really has much more intense color. One thing you do want to make sure is that your tape is down. Now, if it's if some of this watercolor sneaks under, sometimes that makes a really cool design. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be too concerned. So we're making this stripe. There's another stripe. There's another stripe. And again here. All right, so now we have this part around the E. So remember, like I said, what's underneath the tape is white, it's the paper. So when we pull off the E, it's gonna be white. Um, I'm going to try, I'm gonna do a yellow, which because there's still a red in my brush, is gonna come out pretty orangey. Orangey yellow. Oh, I kind of like that though. So I'm going to do that color. And then I'm going to try to really rinse my brush. And I'm going to go to get little pieces of tape all over. <laughs> I'm going to go to this lighter yellow and see if there's actually yellow that I can get rather than orangey yellow. And I'm going to pull that over here. Just, I, I don't have a big plan. I'm just adding pretty color. I'm going to do that over here. Once I get here, I would like to see a, a more of a green, but I'd like to do like a yellow green because I really, really love yellow green. It's my favorite color. It's a happy color, I think. So I'm just gonna go kind of along here, like almost like a stripe and blend out, blend out. Now in the E right in here, I would like to see I'm gonna go to this other palette and I would like to see kind of more of a, a blue. I'm gonna mix some of these because like I said, these are really beautiful colors, but they come off so pale and chalky. So, um, and some of you may have just uh, one that's small, has maybe eight um, little, little cups on there. And uh, those are fine, and actually, you'll probably get better intensity if it's a, like a Crayola paint or something. Um, then even this little palette that I've got is just, it's almost, see, I've been really working on this to try and get this out, and that's what I got. So maybe I'll go to a darker one, and you may find this the same problem. I just am trying to loosen up that paint and that color right in there. There we go. That's a little better. And I don't mind if I see brush strokes, that's interesting. This paper isn't watercolor paper, so of course it's going to be carrying the water and the color a little differently. There we go. This br the brush strokes are showing because there's it's floating, just floating on top. Oh, maybe I'll just do it this way. 
Then it goes against the E direction. There we go. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. Now, at this point, we can decide, are we going to pull up the tape and do some other things? Or are we gonna add tape? So what I might do is this is the first thing I did. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down some tape and I'm going to make little squares. Okay, so now I have little squares. And now I think on top of those little squares, I would really like to do a purple. Let's we'll see how that goes. And it's really kind of a mystery until you get done um, as to, maybe I'll do every other one. This is a dark purple. Maybe I'll do every other one. Anyway, it's a mystery as to what it will really look like. I mean, I have an idea that when I pull this up, kind of what it'll look like, but it's it's always kind of an aha moment. you be like, oh, you know, it's, it's just not quite something you can really predict. Now this one's only got two columns, so I'm going to just do every other like this. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, now, one thing I can do is stay with the colors I had, but just make them much more intense. So I'm gonna see if I can come up with a, a red here, maybe even, oh, these colors. They don't wanna agree with me, but I think I can make them, I can push them. Yeah, there we go. There's a the red, that's pretty. Much more, much more color. I'm gonna do that over here. There. Now this one didn't have the yellow on it, so we can take this all the way down. Now I would, I would expect and hope that yours looks nothing like this. That you're not cupping me exactly, because I would like to see that you explore. Now, one thing you could do is animals or creatures. So you could so easily do a, um, like a spider. You could do its legs um, and its body, just maybe its body's squarer, or you can get clever and trim it so that it ends up being round. Um, but anyway, you could do so many things that way, um, not just an initial. Like you, like I started out, you can you could do a heart, you could do a star, you could do um, just a design, and I just did a um, my initial because I really wanted to do something um, that was simple, and this is really an E is very simple. Okay, I'm gonna preserve this line here. These are dry and these are dry. I'm gonna pull it off and then I'm gonna do some other things. So um, we're going a long way with this tape. Let's see, what do I want? I think I really would like, like a, just a darker version of what I have there. Just to add to it, it rather than, you know, taking away from the blue. So it's kind of what I did with these over here. And it'll make sense when I pull it off how they work together so nicely. Oh, there's a little ripple ripple effect in here okay and then down here I'm gonna do the green just really wanted to show up I'm gonna put this bright green right here. Now, I've never done it quite like this before, so every time is different. Sometimes I tear little bits and pieces of tape. Um, so now I'm kind of thinking, what is this really gonna look like? I'm just looking at uh, color changes, but there's so much more you could do. Okay, so I would really like to see under here. Okay, that came out underneath and I, I like it. I'm good with that.
So the one thing I really want is my E to be the outstanding thing. So these are not, these are gonna compete with what's under this E. So what I wanna do now is I'm hoping that I can do this and take my tape and cover up this like so. Now, I'm gonna go back over this because, oh, I'm gonna bring in my e, my green. Oh, I love this green. Here we go. I mean, you could do this all day, changing it, painting over little pieces again. Um, I got that one painted, but I need this now. I have to, I don't have one that skinny. I have to wait for that to dry. Okay, so let's see what I can do over here. All my tape is sticking together, so I don't know how much good I'll get out of this, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this green. I've got kind of a pattern thing going here with this side and this side. So, well, this is not a problem because we're not using that side. Um, let's see if I can find another long one. It's not all stuck to itself. There we go. It's good though if you can reuse your tape because, you know, anytime we can reuse and save, that's the best. So I'm gonna do that same green. I'm gonna have the same look over there as over there. Okay, so here we are. And I want to do pretty good it's uh it dries pretty quickly but because i'm doing a video i want it to dry faster you know and you can take all the time you want but so we have this protected on this side now i'm going to protect this side and we're going to change our color to i'm going to change it to this orangey this orange looks like it's got a little blue in there do you know what blue and orange make? Kind of make a mud color. So I'm hoping, oh good. We got past that, everything's good. Okay, so I've covered those white areas. Carefully removing this. I'm actually going to remove this. Now, I have this to come off. There's that one. Oh good, I didn't pull up anymore. <laughs> okay, now, this is my favorite part. I'm gonna take off this part. Oh wait, before we do that, let's make this E kind of look like a 3D E. Okay, so how do we do that? To make it a 3D E, we want to add a shadow to it, all right? So I'm gonna take purple. It'll change some of this over here. I'm gonna have it so the sun is coming, or the light is coming from up here. That means these are going to be the places where the light hits. The shadow will be cast on the back side. And you're gonna take a darker color. So I'm taking this purple, and underneath is where it's gonna be cast, up to about there. Okay. It doesn't have to be super dark, it has to be dark enough to feel like it's a shadow. Okay, so then this will definitely have a shadow, and this will have a shadow. And you can kind of do it like this if you want. Now, that's that'll add a lot to it. So, I think it's time to take this tape off. And there is my letter E. Look how it looks three-dimensional. I'm gonna take off these edge pieces. It's gonna be white on the edge here because we didn't do anything else underneath there. It looks sloppy right now because it's laying on my sloppy paper, but 
There we are. Look at that. That's pretty fun. Bye-bye.